Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Snow fam, and today I'm going to be reviewing XSplit. Let's get on with the video. So guys, with XSplit, it's actually one of the best broadcasting slash recording softwares out at the moment. Well, I think so. Um, you can do so many features on it. Uh, so if you go to extensions... You can uh, what's it called? remove extensions if you want to, and you can add custom extensions. Like you can put like a browser URL in for, to add an extension. Uh, you, know, you can click on get more extensions, and you literally you, th there's so many extensions you can get. Just look at how many there is. There's stuff for Twitch, um, YouTube gaming, like anything really like even hitbox uh yeah facebook daily motion there's so many so many extensions you can um you can get with xsplit so uh to even set up xsplit is actually pretty simple let me go on to scene two real quick so just to add like a game or something you just click on the game capture let me load up a game really quickly uh Let's just do called G World of War. So yeah, with X Split, all you do is click on Add, Game Capture, and just straight up. There you go, World of War. Pretty simple, to be honest. I actually like this. Um, what else is there? You can add uh, like webcam, like obviously more rocks. So that's my game capture. You can add a webcam. You can have uh, add an IP cam, but so you should say if your camera was on the like, internet or something like that, and you can't use your camera, you can just boom straight up. It's for like um, say you are recording a video, but for uh, oh what is it, hmm. Amiga or something, and you can't, and you want to record like everything, like your camera and stuff like that. So it's just like you just set that up there. Audio devices, you've got a normal microphone, and then you've got the headset that I'm using. You can add text to the screen. So, say if you want your text saying, hmm, what should I have it saying? Live stream. Uh, you can use custom scripts if you really want to. Uh, you can change the font, which I think is pretty cool actually. You can change the thickness, like how thick you want it. Uh, you can change it so it's either on the side, middle, or the other side. I have it right in the middle. Right, uh, oh god. You can have it scroll if you really want, or you can have it fade. From right to left, left to right, top to bottom, or bottom to top. Um, you can add blur into it if you really want. You can have you can change the opacity, uh, the angle, so whatever way the angle's going, the distance. Um, what is it? Oh yeah, you can also uh, uh, make it bold, underline it, have a line going through the actual text. Uh, it's quite actually good. Or you can you can change the pixels as well, the speed. You can go really fast. We're gonna go really slow, and then you just if you want to change the size of it, you literally just put your uh, your mouse on the side there. And you just stretch it out. I think that's pretty good to be honest. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, other. This is what I think is good. Look, if you go to web page URL, and then if you actually go onto the internet and say I wanted uh, Twitch alerts. So if I go on Twitch alerts, obviously authorize and sign in. And then all you do is you go to the alert box and then see this little code here, you just copy that, go back onto the web page, press control V and then click OK and then what this will do is say if someone donated to you or subscribed to your stream or something like that, you just click on to 
Uh, so test animation comes up there. I think that's pretty helpful, to be honest. Uh, you can do this for multiple stuff. Like, it's it's, it's crazy. It's actually mental. Um, what else is there? Uh, you can uh, uh, a whiteboard if you want to add that. A video playlist. Uh, or say if like you want uh, you got a playlist of videos or something like that. You can just put that on there and it'll just play each video in that playlist. Um, you can have a an image slideshow, you put a load of images in there and it slides through each image. You know what like if you people know what a slideshow is, which is normally normally people do know know a lot. Do know know what one is. That that was so confusing for me to say. Um What's your Skype video? Yeah, you can actually uh, add up a Skype video. So say if you're using Skype chat, everyone had their cameras on. You can just add up the uh, Skype camera, and it, what it'll do is it'll put like a put the actual Skype call on the screen. Um, uh, what else is there? I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. Oh yeah, another thing is if you wanna uh, record or connect to your stream, it's pretty simple. You literally just click the go on to the output obviously right there before you do that what you'll have to do is you'll have to click on to oh where is it file oh lost it now jesus christ uh I've, well you'll get a feature saying uh that's it there set up new output and then you put whatever you want say hitbox uh, twitch and stuff like that or just if you want to just record a video just click local streaming or uh, local recording I'm going to say and then when you want to set up the settings all you have to do is you just click on the little settings bar says your account there and stuff you just uh, authorize it you can test your bandwidth so uh, what it does it automatically uh, detects like how good your PC slash laptop is and your bandwidth and tells you what you can record at or stream at which is pretty good so let me just test my bandwidth real quick like it's okay and what uh, oh, I didn't do it for me but yeah usually sets it up like it tells you your uh, what, what you can record at like the screen resolution and uh, stuff like that um, another thing that I think is really good with this every time you live stream if you want to oh pardon me if you want to um, actually keep the recording of the live stream what you have to do is just look tick this little ball box there automatically save recording all lo uh, on local disk and then just click OK and then every time I would live stream it would actually set up um, that automatically record for me so that's another thing that's good uh, what else is in here uh, I think that's it for Twitch and then let's go to the local recording and this is just pretty simple it's just like the code um, uh, the video encoding so you can have it as x264 or you can have it as what's that nevic or quick sync um, a file type you can have it as mp4 or flv but mp4 is so much better uh, split files that and then you can even have it as one set one or never and megabytes or minutes and, so and then you've got the format as a stereo or mono um, and you can uh, what you can do once you've done the recording you can optimize it like for your YouTube channel so you can just uh, like straight away just upload it so I think that feature is actually pretty good uh, if you go into the tools, uh, projector, so you got screen one and screen two, and like you can do like go throughout the scenes and stuff. Um, go into the settings, and this is where you will uh, do your stuff like enable your audio, like through where the uh, like the sound and the microphone comes through, or you can enable hotkeys. So say you wanted uh, a hotkey to uh, stop and start recording, 
you just click here and then you just set it to whatever you want really accounts obviously this is where you'll be connecting to your life obviously you got YouTube Facebook Twitter and then you got the profile and then you got the advanced tab I don't actually know anything on the advanced tab well, but um, yeah there's always a help center as well so if you were need any help for anything or check for updates and stuff like that uh, you just go here so yeah hopefully you enjoy um, oh, one more thing if you click on the top right corner here you got a little resolution here you can actually change it so resolution you can go to 1080p or you can actually add your own custom resolution or you can go to frame rate and you can customize your own FPS or you can just scale it by a hundred like you can just turn it up and down I think uh, um, I can't do that it won't let me oh well but yeah I hope you um, guys enjoyed this review on XSplit please leave a like subscribe and comment and it's in your boys you snow fan on out peace <laughs> Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me